John the Baptist. Peculiar character. Who is he? Was John the Baptist an Essene? The Essenes were a group of early Jewish mystics, um, early Jewish monks, who were mentioned in ancient texts by Pliny and by Josephus, but they're not mentioned at all in the Bible. They lived in the desert, like John. Um, they practiced some form of baptism, like John, and they believed in a Messiah figure, like John, who was going to come after them. They were destroyed around about the same time as the destruction of Jerusalem in 70 AD, and we don't hear of them again. As for John the Baptist, well, the Bible has quite a lot to say about him. Luke's Gospel describes him as the cousin of Jesus. Uh, he says that Elizabeth, John's mother, was the kinswoman of Mary. So John is a sort of cousin. Not very precise. But Luke is much more precise about the dating of the beginning of John's ministry, which he says is in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, which would make it 29 AD. The Greek church calls John prodromos, which means the person who goes before, the person who leads the way. John has a brief ministry and is then arrested and beheaded by Herod Antipas, the ruler of Galilee and Perea. And that directly leads to the beginning of Jesus' ministry in Galilee, which uh, we learn about in Matthew's Gospel, chapter 4, verse 12. John and Jesus share a moral code. They both tell tax collectors to improve their ways. Uh, should these tax collectors stop working for the Roman Empire? No. Both John and Jesus tell the tax collectors to continue doing their job, but to do it with more righteousness, to do it better. John says, collect no more than you are told to. Don't rob anybody by violence or by false accusation. Be content with the wages you are given. Luke chapter 3, verses 12 to 14. And while today we might think of Jesus being the more famous of the two, it's quite clear from the Gospel stories and from the Acts of the Apostles that it was John who was the star. People had heard of John, but had not heard of Jesus. There's a fellow called Apollos who starts off in Egypt, goes to Ephesus, and in fact there's a whole crowd of people, at least 12 people in Ephesus that Paul meets, who know of the baptism of John, but have never heard of Jesus. That's in Acts of the Apostles, chapter 18, verses 24 to 25. Finally, in the Gospels, John is described as um, an image of the prophet Elijah, so the question has to be asked, is he the reincarnate Elijah? The idea of reincarnation is not central to Christianity uh, or to Judaism, though it does appear in certain mystical texts of Judaism and in certain aspects of Kabbalism, but I don't think it's intended here at all. So there's a quick um, overview of the story of John the Baptist.